guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Emma and today we're doing a bit of a shop with me at Kmart while I do some winter shopping. We're going to see what's new and what's hot at Kmart today. They have a lot of canisters in at the moment, but there really is only a couple of different varieties here. These brightly coloured flowers are a little bit full on for me, but I thought these wattle canisters were quite cute, but definitely a little on the kitschy side. Not like these white herringbone canisters, which are really beautiful and classy. I saw this set of three sage green canisters, which I thought were really gorgeous. They have a bamboo suction top and a plain, so you could totally add labels to these if you like, or you could leave them plain. These are just $16 for the set of three and would be really nice for coffee, tea, or even pantry items. These coffee and tea canisters also come in a set of three and they also have the same bamboo top. And I don't usually like things that have writing on them like this, but I thought these were actually pretty cute. I really like the speckled design and I think the writing actually works really well with the look. My local Kmart surprisingly has heaps of organization items in store at the moment, but the one thing that really caught my eye was this big storage turntable. This thing is really nifty, it's sectioned on the inside and it has a really large lip to keep things contained, not like a flat Lazy Susan. This would be really good for kids craft items, the kitchen, storage cupboards, you really could use this in so many different ways. It is quite large though, so make sure that you measure your space if you need to. Another handy item I noticed were these spice trays. So these go inside a drawer and have grooves for the spice jars so that you can see all the labels. I really like this idea and think these are a really good price at $5.50. There is heaps of bamboo organization in stock at the moment as well. And you know me, I cannot go past a lazy snoozin'. This one is $8 and it's not too big. So it's a good size for a smaller countertop or a smaller cupboard. They also have some other handy kitchen items in stock, like this expandable cutlery tray, which I just think, again, is a really good idea. And they also have a lot of these tiered shelves in the moment, which they don't always have. So if you need some of these, check your local store. I noticed this gray stainless steel top trolley. This has cupboards, drawers, hooks, and handles, and you could totally use this as extra storage in the kitchen. And because it has a stainless steel top, I thought you could also use this in the garage as like a portable workbench. I think this one is new because it wasn't here last time I came. I also thought this under the sink bin was pretty swifty. It's got two different compartments so you can separate garbage and recycling. This is the first time I've seen something like this at Kmart, so I just thought that it was something worth sharing in case you guys are looking for an easy bin solution. Now I almost walked straight past these, but I'm glad I didn't because honestly, these are like one of the coolest things I think I've seen at Kmart today. These are little clips that you can use for baskets. If you use baskets for storage, you can write on them and then clip them straight onto the basket. These are a total bargain at $5.50 for a pack of three, and I just thought these was such a good idea. These rattan look peg baskets caught my eye. I thought that these were just so cute. Peg baskets for some reason are like always so ugly. So I just thought that this was adorable and it's only $8 as well. So moving on to the bathroom section, there is heaps of different bathroom trays. And you know me, I just love a good tray. These ones are for the bathroom really, but you can use them anywhere around the house. This one has a stone look, but it's actually plastic and it's really, really light. This one, on the other hand, is really, really heavy. Make sure you're checking the quality of these trays if you are buying these from Kmart because some of these look like a little bit low quality and some of these are broken as well. All of these trays have like the matching set to go with it. So the toilet brush, the soap pump, and also the cup. This is the first time I have seen this three drawer bamboo set at Kmart and they also have this in a two drawer narrower size set. This would be really good for bathroom storage or for vanity storage and the same with this organizer that has a big drawer and then it also has compartments at the top for storage as well. I just thought these little compartments at the top were super cute and also just a really functional idea. 
This shower caddy is super handy. I think this would be really good as a cleaning caddy as well as a shower caddy. You could definitely put some cleaning products in here and just keep it under the sink for easy access and then just whip it out when you need to clean the shower or whatever it is that you need to clean. This bathroom shelf unit fits over the toilet, so it's a really good option for really small bathroom spaces that really need some vertical storage. The space above the toilet is so often completely wasted, so this is a really good way to get the most out of your space. I've always wanted one of these luggage racks for our spare room, and I'm sure some of you are cringing at the thought of this, but I just really like the idea of guests having a special designated place to put their luggage when they come to visit. I saw this deluxe laundry airing station, so basically a super bloody fancy clothes rack. And yes, it is huge, you could hang so much off this, but I think it's just a little bit too big for our spare room. So you're definitely going to need a lot of space if you want to use this one. I wanted to show you guys this rattan cabinet again, even though I did show it to you in my last Kmart shop with me, because this time it is all set up and I just think it actually looks really nice in real life and actually it looks much better than the picture on the packet. And this way you can get a much better idea of what it actually looks like. So guys, this is what I have come here for today, the blanket section. And lucky for me, there is a few different options here and they're all pretty cheap. This section is usually a total mess, but today we have mostly stocked aisles filled with really nice soft blankets and with just a touch of graffiti here today. My store is trash. This pink Amara throw is really nice and soft and this ochre herringbone one with the tassels is slightly less soft, but it is way softer than it looks at a first glance. This ochre one is $19 and the softer pink one is $21. This Alaska throw is nice and plush. It's got Sherpa on one side and a beautiful gray backing on the other side. Perfect for keeping warm on the couch and just a really non-offensive color scheme that will go with almost anything. This black and white Charlie throw is really nice. I can see this one being super popular this season. It's got these thick tassels on it, so it's quite similar to the ochre herringbone one and it has the same feel to it as well. It has this large crisscross pattern on it, which I'm sure a lot of people will really like. They have some really nice textured throws at the moment as well. These are obviously a bit more for decoration and less to keep you warm, but there's nothing like a cute throw to instantly liven up a space. Now I have to be really careful which, which throws I buy for my downstairs area because one of our cats has a tendency of eating anything with tassels or eating anything hairy. This Lila throw I thought was actually kind of gross when I first saw it in all honesty, but it actually feels so good. I can almost look past the weird texture and color combination. This seriously felt so good. I could like not stop touching it. This Oscar blanket is so big and thick. It's so soft on the gray side and the white side is Sherpa. So it's really, really warm and comfortable. This was the last one, so you know that means that this is a hot item at the moment. And at $29, this really does feel like a good price for the quality and the weight and just how soft this blanket is. Why would you put a blanket or throw rug inside something where I can't touch it? I hate that. Now I always have to look at the pots in Kmart, even though I don't always have to look at the pots in Kmart. But I'm glad I did today because I saw this really beautiful speckled reactive glaze pot, which I just thought was so gorgeous. They seem to have like a reactive range at the moment, which is this kind of weird speckledy glaze. I think this one is going to be a little bit more popular than the cousin, you could say, the brown one that they also have in stock at the moment. I also saw this really cute planter pot that has these little feet on it and anything that has little feet on it gets extra points from me. This shape and style is a bit different. It's long, so it's a good way to mix things up if your pots are looking a little bit samey. All of my pots are kind of round and so I just thought this was a really good way to mix things up. 
these woven planter baskets are just awesome. They come in a two pack, a small one and a larger one. And these are really cool because they have plastic liners inside so that you can put your pots in and water them without worrying about damaging the basket. Totally genius and they're so cheap. They're only $6 for both. Now, there isn't that much happening in the decor section at the moment. The only thing that was kind of new that jumped out at me was these cool, weird vases. Now, these really are a bit of a statement piece. They have a really funky shape and the pattern is a little bit unusual. So definitely a cool statement piece if you're looking for one. Other than that, there isn't a whole lot happening in home decor that I haven't seen before. So I was hoping to get some bedside lamps today, but it looks like there is a bit of a stock shortage at the moment. Now I have noticed this around the rest of the store. They don't have a whole heap of stuff, but they do have a few lamps available, even though there is nothing really here that caught my eye that much today. Something that did catch my eye today though, are these cute little stone trinket boxes. They're really heavy and I just think they're a really solid, nice piece that feels way more expensive than it actually is. Now I don't know exactly what these are made of, but it looks like each one is slightly different so it must be made of something natural, or at least that's what I would presume. And at $12 these are definitely a cool piece at a good price. The candle section was pretty standard this time, but I did see this cool gold or brassy looking metal candle, which again, I just thought looked way more expensive than it actually is. It's only $13, it's really simple and classy looking, and when you're finished, you'll have a really cool bowl after you finish using the candle. I also had this three set of candles jump out at me it's got one blue glass, one amber, and another light pink ceramic. And these are just so different. They're nice, they're unusual, and I just think they would complement lots of different spaces really nicely, and they're just $13 for the pack of three. It's just great. Walking through the basket section, I saw this weird basket suitcase thing, which had another weird small basket suitcase thing inside. This is definitely a little unusual as well, but I thought it was kind of cool and you could definitely fit a lot of stuff inside here. Now I really like the look of this white woven basket. It's a really good size for blankets or even for laundry and the white is just something a little bit different that I haven't seen a lot of before. I thought these big woven pots were a really good deal. I don't really need anything like this right now, but they are on clearance. So if you have some big plants that are in need of pots, these are a really good buy. Only $12 for this huge pot, which I think would look really nice with a big leafy plant inside, but just make sure to take it out when you're watering because it doesn't have that plastic lining. I saw this twin slow cooker, which I thought was just a really good idea. I don't actually personally use slow cookers that much, but I do know a lot of people do use them, especially coming into the winter months. And I imagine having two sides would be a really great, useful feature for some people. Make sure to tune in next week for my haul video where I go through all of the stuff that I actually bought today. And if you like this video, please give it a like or leave a comment down below. It really helps the channel and it really lets me know what sort of content you guys like. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.